Hello, dear colleagues. Today we are at a different location. In our previous video, we talked about the interior and exterior design of the main building that will be constructed. But now we are in the office room. The room is named CPD, Capital Projects Department. Previously we had a workshop laboratory here, and now, after some minor repairs, we equipped it for the engineering personnel, design engineers, process engineers, and so on. As long as it's CPD, Capital Projects Department, we will locate here the employees who control the construction and deal with the construction issues, and the documentation will be kept here too. It is determined by both the time and tasks we have set for ourselves. There is a folder in front of me. In this folder there are documents, signing which was put off for a long time. Nevertheless, they are signed after less than a month and a half. The team worked very well. The result of the talks is these documents in my hands. This is the cover letter from Technopolis Moscow that says that the package contains the land lease agreement and the schedule to the agreement in three copies. These documents are signed, the agreements, and acts of land lodge transfer. All these documents are signed by us. On Monday they will be sent to Technopolis Moscow. I can show you, here we have the statement from the United States Register of Immovable Property with the stamps. You can even see the land lodge plan here. After all, this is signed. Can you see it? The Special Economic Zone, Zelenograd. Everything is signed. After that, all of these documents will be submitted for state registration to make it possible for us to move further. It will be necessary for us to get a whole range of accompanying documents about the registration of this landlord and then we will move further. That's why no matter what our foes might be saying, the documents suggest the opposite. Subsequently, after the holidays, just as we said on the webinar, we're starting to deliver the construction camp temporary facilities and equipment necessary to start the construction to the construction site. But that's not when the construction itself will start. The project will need to undergo a range of various inspections. These are urban planning, fire, environmental inspection and so on. Only after passing all of these inspections, it will be possible to get a permit. But I think this van is near at hand too. So, we're getting closer to the moment the construction starts. A lot of people have asked if there will be a web camera at the construction site so that it's possible to observe the process in real-time mode. Let's get back to this question when the construction camp is mounted, because currently there is no place to mount the camera and to connect it and so on. There is a whole number of technical issues. That's why when it gets technically feasible, we will consider this option. That's all the information that I have to share for now. The amount of documents is increasing. You can see how much space the documentation takes in this room. Additionally, we have the archive, 
and the whole storehouse. The paperwork is underway. And very soon, the moment will come when all of this will start to materialize into the building itself. Thank you for your attention. See you soon with the new videos, new stories and new interesting information that everyone is waiting for. Thank you.